welcome to LJP channel. Hello everyone, it's me once again. Hope you're well. Uh, apparently, Anki Vector has a big competitor, so uh, it's responding. So I'm going to show you the website uh, to prove it, and it's kind of exciting. So let's see what it says. All right. So the process of me actually finding how Anki Vector can synchronize with Alexa, I found this very interesting article. Um, I'm sure you could get plenty of other information available online, but as you scroll down, I just want to point out this bit where this paragraph is says, the news is particularly interesting given the rumors that Amazon is reportedly developing its own robot, mobile robot with Alexa built in. Uh, so Project Vista, as the robot is uh, supposedly called, would follow users around their home so they can talk to Alexa in more places. So there you go. So in other words, Anki Vector are, are in the process of developing to Anki Vector to get connected with Amazon Alexa. So that's going to bring a lot of potentials uh, with your smart home technology and etc. While as Amazon itself, the big players in the market are going to come up with, uh, potentially going to come up with this robot called uh, Project Vesta. It might end up being called Vesta. It's called. It's at the moment the process is called Project Vesta, but it's going to follow you around, and also you could command it as if you command Alexa. So it's with virtually uh, Alex Alexa with wheels or legs. Uh, sounds very interesting. But what this tells you is this: there are a lot of potential, and there's a lot of um, money in this game. So if you think about it, the smartphone was, um, it started like, was it 2008, Steve Jobs announced it, and then they were talking about all this potential, but I think even it exceed that amount of potential, that there's so many things that you can do with smartphone. While as I do start to sense this feel like this whole smartphone is technology is getting so old in some way. It's getting settled, not really much of a, um, surprise or some sort of like a up, huge upgrade is coming. It's just like now bezel-less, bezel. It, it's getting old, people. I mean, I, I actually ordered um, Google Pixel 3 XL, but I actually expected, well, why, not, why, why can't we have by time now a transparent um, mobile phone, transparent screen that has been talked about five years ago? Why can't we talk about these sort of, all these technology um, bendable or like, all these wallet look like um, full screen smartphone um, at this stage is still not available but I think there's still a long way to go while as I think in the other way maybe it's a transition of smartphone is a smartphone now we're all pretty much done everything what we can but now let's move into the new era that is almost like a smartphone but a huge upgrade a transaction of a smart robot. Maybe that's where I think um, that reminds us that we are certainly the head of the curve. The sign of, of Amazon, the big player in the market, trying to look into a smart robot uh, that could be your almost like a robot butler in your home mm. is a very promising sign. Don't feel embarrassed owning Antivector. Um, I had a few of my colleagues making fun of me about this. They think I'm a bit of a childish, uh, I mean, I'm 38 and I, you know, I feel, I still feel young, but uh, they feel that I'm being childish here. But as a reminder, as my artwork that says, laugh now, but one day we will be in charge and I already feel in charge for this whole thing because um, I reckon we are approaching to the stage where if you don't follow up with the latest technology, you are considered to be someone who is even worse than not being educated. Um, and I'm quite busy trying to catch up with all the latest apps and technologies and etc. and available, but it's a very promising sign um, and also a great reminder that the whole idea of opening and owning a smart robot, even like this toy like Anki Vector, it's not a silly thing. It's 
you it's just trying to remind you that you are ahead of the curve so i just wanted to send that message to you and don't feel embarrassed um, at all owning one and i'm sure you don't but um if you feel like anki vector feels it's not functioning as much as you expected remember this actually this device actually updates itself every day between 1 a.m to 5 a.m i think in the morning on your current time and it's amazing i can see that it's slowly developing at this stage but by end of this year we're going to have uh anki vector uh a linked up with Alexa which is going to be so cool and who knows how how much it's going to end up being developed while other smart home technologies are coming in so it will be one of those definite things to uh, be uh, placed at your home otherwise you'll be considered to be someone who is living in a hermit world um, everyone's going to have a a robot butler but you might end up not being in. You're, you're, you're going to remember that, oh, I used to make fun of LJP about 10 years ago, owning a toy robot, but now, oh, I'm, it's going to make me look silly and i got to follow the game and so on. But that's the whole thing. So just want to remind you, this whole Project Vesta that Amazon is investing is a important stage at this time of the whole world uh, that, need, that they need to keep a close eyes on that not many people are aware of we are certainly the, the whole attempt of amazon doing this is a clear sign that we are just about to enter a world where most of the household are just about to own a robot butler that is not necessarily like human like but it could look like a toy like uh, anki vector there but you've got to be always uh ahead of the curve otherwise you end up being one of those guys who um are far off don't know what you're talking about and, and and so on so feel proud uh get excited we're living in a new world and every day by day is getting excited so thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp all the best bye bye